today we're going to talk about how to find the next high tide point. Welcome gang. Today I am on a uh, beautiful beach uh, in Virginia. Actually, Virginia Beach is right over there. Uh, I am on Willoughby Spit and it is really pretty here even though the weather isn't great. Today we're going to talk about how to find the next high tide point. And a few months ago I shot a video that I'll link to up here. Uh, and that was how to tell where the most recent high tide mark was. Today we're going to talk about how to find where the next high tide mark is. And that's important because we need to get our kayaks and our gear above that high tide mark. As we look at the beach, we'll see obvious signs from various high tides. Right now I am just about at low tide. I'm like within a few minutes of low tide. Keeping in mind that tide charts are an approximation. Um, but for the most part, I'm at low and I can tell just sort of by looking around, but obvious signs, the humps in the water uh, of dry bare spots uh, and just how much beach is exposed uh, are dead giveaways that we're just about at low. And the steeper the beach is, the less the tide will move away from say the dune line, but a beach that's really flat and shallow uh, it will move out pretty far. And so you can end up in situations like my friend Sarah and I had in Alaska where we had to carry the boats about a quarter of a mile from where the water stopped to where we were above the next high tide mark because the beach was really shallow and so it took a while for the tide to move out completely. Um, so as I look at this beach, I see various indicators that uh, of where tides were. So we need to figure out where the last one was and then we need to figure out where the next one is. And to do that, we're gonna need a couple of tools. We're gonna to need a paddle, and we're gonna need a water bottle about halfway filled with water. It's best if that water bottle is clear. The one I've got today is pretty dark red. I can make it work, but it's definitely a little bit harder with a bottle that's, that's red. You can see obvious marks from various tides. So there's one back in there, and there's another one here. And then up here, we've got some marks from debris. Let's actually climb up there and see those. So I've got a good debris line running right here. And I've got another debris line all the way up here. And I know this one is the oldest because if it were younger, it would have been washed out by previous high tides. I think the last high tide was right here. Um, there is that one. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I think the last high tide was here. And I think this was the previous high. And so I need to find out if the next high tide is higher, going to be higher than that or lower than that. In order to do that, I need a tide chart. I use an app called Multi-Tide, which is pretty good. Or you can just use printed tides um, and then figure out what tide you're at and then where the next one is gonna be. And this is how we're gonna use that paddle and that water bottle to figure out that position. So if I look at multi-tide, I can see that the low tide, which is actually, the low tide is in 20 minutes at negative 0.33 feet. Uh, and then the next high tide or the last high tide was at 9.48 this morning, and that was 2.91 feet. And so almost a little bit more than three feet, three and a half feet higher than it is right now, and that's vertical feet. And then the next high tide is at 10.10 tonight. So in general, tides are about 12 and a half hours apart. And that one is 2.89 feet, and that means it's actually just a little bit uh, lower than today's was. So in this situation, the tides are actually going to be right at about where they were within a foot, even less than a foot, within a few inches of where they were previously. So it's relatively easy, but suppose we had to find a tide that was going to be two feet higher, which is not that uncommon. Here's how we would do it with the tools that we've got.
So what I did was I used the paddle as a vertical and then estimated where my three feet was from the next high tide to the one coming. And I used my bottle as a level and then I sighted over the top of the bottle to a landmark on the beach and I just picked a divot that was close to where the landmark would be and then put my bottle there. That's our next high tide mark. And so this is three vertical feet approximately above that high tide right there. So this is where the next high tide is gonna be, which means our boats and everything needs to be above this. This is easier to illustrate when you've got a, a beach with big tide differentials. Two foot tides are not huge differentials. So, um, but that's the process is find your last high tide, mark it on the beach, use your paddle as a vertical, sight across the top of the bottle, use your bottle as a level, find a landmark on the beach and then mark that landmark with the bottle or a stick or something else and everything has to be above that mark and then really what you should do is at high tide come back take a look at your mark see how close you were so you'll get better at it with practice so that is how we use the landmarks on the beach to find the last high tide and then tools we brought with us to estimate where the next high tide is. Uh, and that's a skill that you need to practice. You'll like everything else, you'll get better at it the more you do it. If this was helpful for you, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Uh, other than that, I'll see you outside.